When you have content that you want to share with your students, such as a PowerPoint presentation, I recommend that you go ahead and upload it to Google Drive and then link it to your Canvas course. The reason why I recommend this is that if you're teaching more than one section of this course, either the same college or across multiple colleges, if you have your content in Google Drive, you can edit your content in Google Drive and that change will then be reflected automatically everywhere where you're teaching that particular course. So it's really nice. To go ahead and do that, I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to click on Gmail and a login. And then after typing my email, go ahead and put in the password, click next. Okay, now that I'm logged into Gmail and Google knows my identity, that is my login, I'm going to open up a new tab in the same browser. I'm going to go towards a 3 by 3 grid of dots where it says uh, Google Apps if I hover over it. I'm going to click on that and choose Drive. Okay, so this is my cloud drive if you will. I'm going to take my PowerPoint long-term memory presentation. I'm going to drop it in. It's now uploading. And now it's done. I can also create a folder. New folder and call it maybe like general psychology because probably going to upload quite a lot to this drive. And then I can take my PowerPoint and just drag it into my general psych folder. Now I'm in my general psych folder. Okay, well now that I have a PowerPoint presentation here, I can't directly edit this presentation uh, in Google Drive. The only way that I can uh, edit it is if I turn it into a, what's called Google Slides. So I'm going to be brave here. I'm going to click on it on my presentation here. I'm going to go to this dot 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 that says more actions. I'm going to say open with Google Slides. And again, the benefit is thereafter I'll be able to edit it directly with Google Slides. So it's making the conversion. And wow, it looks, it looks really good. So it did a pretty good job of making that conversion. Since I like it, I'm going to click on File and Save as Google Slides. Okay, so now I have my drive here, which shows me two presentations for my Memory Chapter 8, one which is PowerPoint and one which is Google Slides. And I don't need the PowerPoint one here, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to say uh, remove. So now I just have my uh, Google Slides. I'm going to close my tabs where I previously had the presentation open. I'm going to open it one more time just to make it really clear this is Google Slides that I'm opening. And now I want to get a URL so I can share it in my Canvas course. So I'm going to click on the share option here and I click on get shareable link and I can make it so that the link will allow people to edit, comment, or just view. I'm going to stick with just view. Click on copy link and done. Now I'm going to head over to my Canvas course. And we've seen this assignment before. I'm going to go ahead and edit it. And I'm going to include a link here to the content, to the slide presentation. So I'll say view. Uh, memory slide uh, presentation. And then to make this a, a link, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to do Control K. If it's a Mac, it would be Command K, but I'm going to do the Control K. I'm going to paste URL here and target. I'm going to say New Window. I like Control K because it allows me to specify that the link will open the content in a new window. Uh, there's also the Canvas option where I can click on the link here, uh, but you'll notice it doesn't have open a new window. So that's why I do Control-K as opposed to the Canvas link option. Alright, then we're done.